What's a crack of lagging, y'all? This is Agent Snoopy, and we welcome you to the brand new year of 2023. And we are back with once again story time with the Beast. Hello, everybody. It is I, the Beast. And I think this is my first time that um Agent Snoopy has ever been on my show. Oh yeah, it has been. So what's today's story we're gonna be reading, Beast? Well, today's story is called The Golden Goose. It's another living storybook. All right, The Golden Goose. I don't think I've ever heard this one before. This is one of a very old story. It's written, the copyright's 1963. So let the story begin. A man and his wife with, with their three sons once lived in a hut on the edge of the forest. One day, the eldest son went into the forest to chop wood. Soon he met a stranger with a white beard who was asking him for something to eat. But the boy refused, saying he had little enough for himself in his half sack. But when he went back to chopping wood, he cut himself badly and had to return home. Then the second son went out and the very same thing happened. Now the youngest son, who was called Dumbling, asked that he be allowed to go. At first his father refused, but the boy instead the, but the boy insisted and so went off. He went into the dark woods. Quite an unusual way to start the story. Well, that's how it begins in this story. Okay. He soon encountered the same old man who asked him for a bite to eat. I have only steel bread and, and dregs of buttermilk, said the dumbly, but you are welcome to share it. The... Instead, they began to eat the dry crust and turned into a white, white fresh loaf and a few drags of buttermilk into a jug of foamy milk. When they had finished, the old man thanked him and pointed him to a certain tree. Chop down that, that one, he said, and your kindness will be rewarded. And with that, he disappeared. Dumbling set to work at once with his axe in his amazing, amazement. When the tree crashed to the ground, they... There laid a goose with feathers of purest gold. So little did that that do know that that tree that he cut down belonged to a goose. Exactly. It sure did. It belonged to an animal. Tucking the goose under his arm, Dummy set out the road to make his fortune. He came present to an inn where he decided to spend the night. When the innkeeper's two daughters saw his simpleton carrying a goose covered with golden feathers, they thought, why shouldn't we pluck out a few ourselves? So while Dumbling was waiting for his supper, the elder daughter quickly seized the goose. But the girl had no sooner touched the bird when she found that her fingers were stuck to it. She could neither pluck out a feather nor let go of it. Her sister heard her wail and came running to see what the trouble was, was clutching to her sister's skirt. She tried to pull free from the goose, but she found herself held fast also, and no amount of tugging would free the free either of them. At this moment, Dumbly came in and asked if his supper was ready. When he saw what happened, he promptly picked up the goose and set, set it down on the road again. The poor girls had no choice but to follow him down the road before a long friar seemed pertinent ran up to him. No, no, father, cried the girls. Don't touch us. But it was too late. The friar had already taken the younger sister's hand and could not loosen it. The next person they passed was a farmer in a field. When he saw the odd procession, he too tried to tried his best to unlink them. But at once, he, he too was stuck fast, and willy-nilly, the four of them went trailing down the road, Dumbling and his golden goose. <laughs> they soon arrived in a country who whose king was quite perplexed, because his only daughter, was known as the sad princess, had never been smelling. Dumbling learned that the king had promised the princess in mar hand in marriage to the one who could make a Aha, thought Dumbin, perhaps today I make my fame and fortune. And he set out at once for the royal palace. Then his troop found and round the courtyard. Not sooner did the princess see this ridiculous sign when a faint smile crossed her face. 
The longer she looked, the broader it came until she burst out laughing. Needless to say, the king was delighted when he heard that his daughter had laughed. At last, he ordered Dumley to be made a prince. Their wedding was celebrated the next morning, and from that day on, Dumley and his princess lived a long and merry life. Therefore, they only had to think of four people stuck to the golden goose, and they both broke together. And that is the end. Well, that was quite interesting. Interesting tale of the golden goose. Oh, yes, it was. So, we hope you all enjoyed tonight's tale. If you have any more information about this book, just leave us a comment on the video. Respond to all your comments as soon as possible. Well, please remember to keep subscribing to us for more videos, and we'll see you on our next video. Take care, and have a good night. See you later, everyone. Good night. Bye. Keep it real.